Hello everyone, I am teacher Rayo Susbilia and let me introduce to you the dance, the claws. The claws. The claws, also called pentakasi, is the warai equivalent to bayanian. Groups of people work for somebody without hoping for anything in return. They work odd jobs like clearing forests, digging the earth for wells, moving a nipa hut to a new location or even building a house. And all this for free. Of course, grateful benefactors would offer drinks and food, but it is not always expected. The peasants cooperate for the social and economic progress of their community. The Tiklos is a native peasant dance of Leyte. Very early in the morning, the leader of the Tiklos beats the tambura, a kind of drum made from a hollow trunk of a tree with a carabao hide head. Next come sounds of subing or bamboo flutes and the gimbal a small snare drum with a head of parchment made from the skin of a wild cat. The peasants come out with grass hooks, balls and other garden tools and farm implements. Led by the band, they march together to work in the fields. During breaks, the peasants enjoy themselves with tuba, a native wine, and the rest dance the tiklos accompanied by the subing or plauta, gimbal and tambura drums, or when available, the siesta played by the band. The Teklos music is also played to call them back to work. Teklos was introduced at the 1967 University of the Pacific Folk Dance Camp by Bernardo T. Padere, who was the lead male dancer and dance consultant of the Leyte Filipiniana Folk Dance Group, which in 1966 toured the United States. Dancers are dressed in working costume. The music is divided into two parts, A and B. The counts are 1, 2, or 1 and 2 to a measure. Formation. Partners stand opposite each other about 6 feet apart. When facing the audience, girl stands at partner's right side. 1 to any numbers of pairs may take in this dance.